Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Titans and the Eagles, and it's all up next. It's the National Football League, presented by EA Sports. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion, Tennessee Titans, taking on the NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. It's been a good season for them so far, and they're just looking to keep that momentum going forward. They like their record. Now they want to increase it. A win here could really get the momentum going in the right direction. Meanwhile, for the visiting Titans, they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special team. So the Titans set to go to work for the first time. And they will be let out by their second year quarterback. And there are a lot of quarterbacks who had terrific careers. Think about guys like Phillip Rivers, Randall Cunningham. Yet here he is, in his second NFL season, already getting his chance. I mean, harking back to Dan Marino, another superstar, made it in his second year, lost the game, and never made it back again. The goal, the second appearance for this head coach. The first one did not go as planned, as we all know, but what do you think he's learned from that first go around? He learned how much it hurts to lose, and that's what you hear from coaches so often. They don't remember the wins as much as they remember the losses. You can talk about the media, the scrutiny, the hoopla. But once you've had to shake a head coach's hand, that hurts big time, and you're going to do everything possible to try and prevent that from happening again. Throwing on first down. Cobb. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end. Complete. A big play that time for the Titans. 44 yards. Well, after the standard two-week layoff, you always wonder, how's your offense going to respond and come out and play here in the Super Bowl? Well, they got a great answer right there and almost a sigh of relief on that side of the first score of this Super Bowl. Here's first and goal. And they'll turn to a power game to try to get in. And he will push his way forward down to about the three. You really don't want to be in a position where it's a one-on-one -on -one tackle with him. On second and goal, here's the option. And he gets in. Touchdown, Tennessee. It's their quarterback. A three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Titans are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. Defensively, they told us that the top priority was defending option plays this week, but here on the very first drive, the defense broke down a bit. It certainly did, and it's really not a surprise because defending option football is difficult. You have to think too much. Most of the time, you just react to what you see and you play fast. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Off play action. Cobb. This one downfield to Burks. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the, the first down. They'll try the right side with Henry. Breaks a tackle. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. A solid run on Fionn. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. To throw on second down. Cobb going deep for Hopkins. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. They decide he's couldn't uncover at the end of the route. 
and that one winds up incomplete. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. Titans getting set to saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball to their territory. And he'll get it up to the 12 yard line here. So five down. Inside handoff, Henry. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get to it. And that's why you don't just look at his birth certificate and decide when a guy is done, right? Because you know as well as I do in this league, as soon as you hit 30, they're looking to let you go if you're a running back. Sometimes. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Down the right sideline. And finally taken down at the four-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 74 yards. A oh, big time credit. What a play design there. They wanted to get him loose in the open field, and they succeeded. He had all sorts of room to operate in, and they finally track him down. Minutes gone by, second quarter. Now they'll try and set up the quarterback draw here. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Titans continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. Yeah, this is pretty similar to the Wildcat plays that were bouncing around the league circa 2008 or so. The idea here, just snap it right to the guy you want to run with it. In theory, you're getting yourself an extra blocker. And here, that Wildcat runner is your quarterback. And he takes it into the end zone. second of this first half as his guys start here with a first and ten. On first and ten, Cobb. His throw incomplete. So many times we talk about when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Second down, here's Henry. And yeah, they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 44 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. One thing when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. Another night plays. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Looking to throw. Cobb going deep for Hopkins. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. Yeah. Sometimes you get a little ahead of yourself. You don't look it in, and all of a sudden it's on the ground. A surprise to all. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. This is caught inside the 15. It's a gain of 34. I recognize the trouble, and then he has two options. Cut off the route and come back to hell, or head straight down the field, and he chooses the latter, and it turns into a huge play. This will go to Henry out wide. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the... In the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Second and four. They could still get a first down without scoring. Again, he'll drop to throw. 
They set up the screen for Henry. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. A little game. Yeah, they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Taking it in for two yards out. And the Titans have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, nothing complicated about that. That's old-school power football. And effective. And that's the key to everything, right? Sometimes we try and do too many things. Just hand it to the big guy and let him go forward. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. He's got to be feeling pretty good. Play him well. Team has the lead, so just looking to mount a drive here. Game helps us out, but at the end of the day, they want to rely on their arm. Throw the football, feel good about things, keep things moving in the right direction. Right now, that's exactly what we're seeing. And we'll see if that continues. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up. But they've still got work to do to get the field goal range, and the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. Back to the air on second down. Cobb going deep for Hopkins, and it's knocked away and incomplete. They geared up until back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Operating from the gun. Cobb. Look at the big man rumble. And finally taken down at the four-yard line. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts. As the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go until halftime. Chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Back to throw again. Van Jefferson as the first half is winding down. And the Titans are feeling good as they extend their lead in this Super Bowl. And the touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. Now, I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play. Got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. The Titans getting set to go here to begin the stock of the situation, CD, and say, gosh, we're halfway to the Lombardi Trophy. Let's not slow down now. And I like the way you went there. Let's not slow down now because the first half certainly went their way. And I would expect them to continue that type of a game plan. But you're right. You do think back to Super Bowl, so plenty can still happen. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Again, it's Henry. He'll get a yard. That's all as they get him down at the 28. Now third down and seven. Back to throw. Cobb. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. To me, the defense was looking a little gap. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. Their lead down from 21 to 14, but still sitting in a great spot. Up two scores. They go play action here on first down. And his throw is for joining us, everybody. Second and ten. Henry up the middle. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Completion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. And it 
entire season coming down to this next quarter. Three in the books here in the Super Bowl. This is the national footback in the Super Bowl. Time to decide who gets to hoist that Lombardi trophy as we begin the fourth and final quarter of action. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Going deep for Hopkins. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. They'll look to throw again. Rolling to his right. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Give him 32 on the play. And they've been just a step too slow. And here they're burned again. Another big play. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Now a second and ten. Throwing again. Cobb. And he's got this to Jefferson. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. Looking to throw. Cobb. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Well, I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. And they are trying to play it cool down on the sidelines, but they know that they are very close now. Trap 60, trap 60. Now a play fake here on first down. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And this one is incomplete to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? Throwing on first down, but this lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach. And maybe you and I should attend that press conference. See, guess. He didn't like how some of the snaps were run earlier, and he wanted to use that as a chance to clean things up, but he certainly will have some explaining to do. And it's a Titans touchdown! A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans are starting to pour it on to the game's biggest stage. They are running away with this Super Bowl. And a decisive advantage became even more decisive. They already had the win in hand, but they keep pressing the tempo, and they pile on with another touchdown reception. Would you consider that touchdown a reward to all the tight ends on their roster for their effort today? Not just running their routes, but all the time they spent in the trenches laying down blocks, doing the little things to help that offense succeed. And for doing all of that, they definitely want one of their tight ends to get a touchdown to really seal this blowout. Tennessee offense set to go again. It's been a down fourth quarter and a chance if they want to continue to pour it on here. 
It is their call, isn't it? I mean, the way that they have taken on this game and the way that they have carried this game and have dominated this game, you're exactly right. On the final two and a half minutes, and boy, has it been fun to watch this offense operate. Quite the display, and now they look to polish it off. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. 75 yards up. They show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they are powering through, and they're controlling this game. A first down carry for Henry. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell them to back off of being aggressive, but sometimes the ball loose, and just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. Let's go. They'll run it again with Henry. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. I like the kick down and eight. Now a handoff to Henry, fighting to stay upright inside the 10. And the Titans are going to have a first and goal forthcoming as he takes this down to about the five-yard line. And they're singing in the Music City. The Tennessee Titans are your Super Bowl champions. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season. I hope my mama was watching tonight. Bringing this game up at my next contract negotiation, I know that. Club job, baby!